Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you today with the Common Sense MD. Hopefully some useful stuff that you'll use for your medical health and uh, well-being. Um, today I'm going to take a, a dive into a, a fascinating little supplement drug dye. It's called Methylene Blue. I'm sure you've heard of it, but it's really fascinating because um, of its many uses. And what I've found out about treating people with COVID for it and even long COVID, um, it's really a fascinating substance. Um, it's a blue dye that was developed back in the 1860s by scientists who were working for the textile industry. So they're dyeing cotton blue and then wool. And being scientists, they started looking at it under the microscope. And what they found was that you could see bacteria and viruses and parasites in the microscope using that stain. We use that stain today under microscopes. I did it all through college and medical school. Um, but an interesting thing happened when they were looking at that stain. They were able to identify a parasite that caused malaria, and it killed that parasite. So actually, it was the first drug. I think it was back in the late 1860s that that was actually the first drug, definitely the first antibiotic. Um, so, and they also treated UTIs, urinary tract infections, with it. Um, it's mostly been replaced um, by other drugs since then for antibacterials and for malaria medicines. But they're kind of circling back around because there's a lot of resistant uh parasites that this methylene blue will still get. Um, it's very effective for that. As a matter of fact, it, it, it hits bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Very good for uh, intestinal yeast. Um, so because of COVID, you know, I started taking a deep dive into anything that would help people breathe. And when I did that, I came up with kind of why it works and how it works. It's kind of complex, but I'm going to kind of make it as simple as I can. Being a simple-minded man, uh, Leonard Skinner. Um, anyway, um, methylene blue, every ER doc knows about methylene blue and where it's located in the ER because it reverses carbon monoxide poisoning and cyanide poison. It's FDA approved for this. So it's in every emergency room for that. I've seen it used uh, several times. Um, there was, when I was doing the reading on this and taking a deep dive, this one ER doc described it a little bit. And he said that, that there are three absolute truths in your life. One is that nobody will ever love you like your mom. The second one is Nobody will be as glad to see you as your dog. The third one for him was, when your patient is crashing and you don't know what to do, reach for the methylene blue. Um, so we use it for septic shock and things when we can't get the blood pressure back up. It really saves a lot of life for a lot of different reasons. But I'm going to talk about it more in use of not only using it for COVID, but for many other things. Um, it's, it's probably very beneficial for virtually all types of chemical poisonings. Uh, it's a great antiviral, especially when used with red light therapy. Um, I have my own red light uh, in my sauna, so I use it almost daily. It improves breathing, thereby its usefulness for COVID. I put many people on it for that, and it seems to really help them. Um, it helps energy. I take it for that. It fights depression. It helps dementia. Um, as a matter of fact, it, I recommend it to all my friends whose moms are in nursing homes and they tend to get UTIs. So it helps you to prevent UTIs and treat UTIs. A nursing home patient a lot of times ends up in the ER for confusion when the cause is a UTI, especially in women. So I rec And it also helps dementia. So why wouldn't you use it in a... Uh, an elderly woman in a nursing home. Um, it's very safe. It helps pain, especially neuropathies. Um, it works by increasing your mitochondrial respiration. You know, we're talking about your cellular metabolism here, which may be 
Uh, that, along with inflammation, the cause of many, many diseases. Um, and it has to do with the electron transport chain. It actually can donate or receive um, electrons. It has to do with redox potential, redox reactions. If you've studied chemistry, it's kind of deep to get into here, but um, it's one of the few things that can donate electrons or take them up when needed for mitochondrial dysfunction, of which there's many reasons for that. Um, the mitochondria are those energy-producing parts of the cell that produce ATP uh, by a process called oxidative phosphorylation, if you want to get into the chemistry about it. But it inhibits nitric oxide. And we've talked about nitric oxide before. There are pros and cons to using nitric oxide. Um, the pros, it helps ED and it helps blood pressure. It's a vasodilator. But nitric oxide is also a free radical. And methylene blue inhibits nitric oxide. So there's uses for it. There's uses for both. Um, and I certainly use a little bit of both. But um, And if you want to find out how I do it, come in and uh, talk to me at the office. But um, a 2021 review of methylene blue, everybody got interested in it all of a sudden because of COVID, uh, reported that it's the only drug known to inhibit excessive production of react reactive oxygen species, i.e. cytokine storm. It's a low-cost dye um, with antiseptic and properties that are used to treat malaria, UTIs, septic shock, uh, and met hemoglobinemia, which is a condition where your, hemoglo your hemoglobin, which contains iron, um, it is contained in your red blood cells, become oxidized, and can't transport the oxygen. Um, think carbon monoxide poisoning, and cyanide poisoning. So it turns those patients around really quick because it converts met hemoglobin to hemoglobin. And hemoglobin carries the oxygen to all your tissues. Uh, it's very safe, uh, but it has to be pharmaceutical grade. There's a chemical grade and a dye grade, a uh, manufacturing grade. So this is a pharmaceutical grade. Um, contraindications, if you're on an SSRI, um, like Prozac or Zoloft or the sort, uh, you probably want to wean off that first. Um, you probably don't want to use it in pregnant or nursing patients or babies. You don't want to use it if you have that rare G6PD deficiency that sometimes we check for if we're using high-dose uh, IV vitamin C. You know, at normal doses of methylene blue, you don't need to check for it. But if you're going to use it for um, other things like... Uh, if you want to give it to cancer patients, et cetera, and use it in higher doses, uh, then you do want to check a G6PD test. Uh, it's a simple blood test. Um, so it comes in drops. Um, it starts at about 10 milligrams a day. Each drop is a half milligram. So what you do, you just put, you know, I just put five drops in uh, four ounces of water. I drink it a couple times a day. Seems to give me a lot of energy. Seems to help my breathing when I exercise hard. Um, and for people that are chronically fatigued or post COVID or have acute COVID, I think it's very beneficial. Um, you know, again, the ER uses it in very high doses IV. So it's very safe with these drops. A um, couple things it will turn your mouth blue and will turn your urine blue. Um, so some people don't like that. That's probably why they developed hydroxychloroquine to treat malaria, um, which turned out also useful for another uh, virus called COVID-19. Um, so this is an over-the-counter substance that's cheap, safe, and has many, many uses. Uh, the dementia thing in Parkinson's uh, indication that may help that uh, really fascinate me, uh, along with the energy and the cellular metabolism. You know, a lot of diseases are the res response or result of mitochondrial dysfunction. There's no doubt about that in anybody's mind, uh, which is essential for optimal health and energy. You know, people come to the doctor for one of two reasons. Either they're tired or they hurt. 
So it se seems to help for both. It's very safe. I keep it in my Kingsport office. I'll probably keep it in all the offices very soon. And, and if you uh, just call or uh, text us or uh, write us an email, we'll tell you a good safe site to get this because where you get it does matter. You want to get the pharmaceutical grade. But it really helps your hormones as well. It decreases your estrogen. If you're estrogen dominant, decreases prolactin, um, decreases cortisol. And like I said, it decreases nitric oxide that's chronic. You know, you don't, you need nitric oxide and you need cortisol, but just not chronically. Um, it increases your testosterone a bit, increases your dopamine, and a little bit on serotonin. So it's a very useful uh, substance, both for energy and well-being, uh, and probably has a lot of other uses at higher doses uh, that are definitely off-label for things, um, maybe like cancer and Alzheimer's and some of the other neurodegenerative diseases, maybe even autism. I've seen a lot of reports on that. So do your studying, uh, you know, do your own diving, you know, in some of these things before you use them or, you know, hopefully you trust us to bring you safe, good information uh, that's scientifically backed. But think about methylene blue, a great drug we have in the ER, but also it's over the counter as a supplement in drop form that could be very helpful for you if you're tired or you hurt or you just don't feel like you have that energy that you need. I hope this helps. I look forward to seeing you next week.